Stay tuned. Next up is David Charles Allen, Village Properties Realtor and host of The Hop, that's Home Ownership Podcast. Welcome to The Hop. This is David Charles Allen, Realtor at Village Properties in Santa Barbara, California with my great friend and co-host, Patty Teal. How are you doing today, Patty? Oh, I'm doing wonderfully, David. How are you? I'm doing amazing as well. We've got some crazy warm weather here. We're about 75 degrees. <laughs> I guess that's considered pretty warm here. And then looking ahead, scattered throughout the low 60s, high 60s, even the 50s, maybe even some rain next week or coming up this week. So we're that really all in the place right wonderful. now. Wonderful. That sounds great. Yeah, we were getting some really cold nights dropping down in the 30s. So it was nice to feel a little different. Absolutely. Feel like it was an actual winter. Absolutely. You could get out that ski jacket and put it on. That sounds wonderful. Right. In terms of surf too, there's a really fun surf out there today. We've had not nothing huge swells, but some fun size, decent waves to really get out there and enjoy the water. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Does it get busy and crowded or is it pretty much you have the waves to yourself? No, I mean, ever since the last couple of years, it's never very it's always busy if you go to the right spots or if you go to the spots that everyone likes it's going to be busy but Mm -hmm. i mean on a day like today when it's not really really large it's great weather so there might be more people out but you 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 can always find a spot to surf it just depends Uh how what quality waves you're really looking for right that sounds nice yeah in terms of how the interest rates have done they've actually went back down so 3.75 for 30 year fixed and 3.375 for a 30-year jumbo. Wow. Not that I'm the expert, but I thought they were going to keep going up. So that's fascinating. Yeah, it's, it makes no sense. That's all <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, 4% one day, 35 the next, and then up to 5 You You just have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, who knows? But that's really good news for people that are looking to buy a house right now. Yeah, it's really difficult to predict, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. In terms of how the real estate statistics have performed, 42 new listings, 7 price changes, 34 that closed, 40 that went pending, 1 that expired, and 11 that were coming soon. So the pending and the new listings pretty much are the same, only a couple yep. off. Back to being the same. It's good. We're in the 40s now, at least, for new listings. So that's a positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Staying consistent where homes come on and people are still picking them up as soon as possible. And we're seeing a lot of new listings, so to say, that have already closed. So they're new mm-hmm. to people. So there is a lot of homes still selling off market. Oh, people aren't going to find those on Zillow or um, anywhere else where homes are listed. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. So usually when someone's listing it off market, they're either purchasing another home that they have a deal on or agreement between parties that will sell your home and will not put it on market because we're going to buy another home. It was pretty common because people didn't want people touring their house last couple of years. So they would sell it to a specific buyer. There's a lot of various reasons to why people decide to not list it publicly. Mm -hmm. And usually it's just a personal decision and there's benefits that are involved with that. The one that's not beneficial is you really don't get full marketing and potentially full price. So there's a strategy to list it off market to get that full price potential without taking it to market. But in the end of the day, with all this competition, Petition and bidding, most people are going to take it to market and see what they can get. Right. Yes. Because so many times the bidding goes over the asking price. Yeah. So if you're going to pre market something, you want to pre market it at a higher value than say you would if you're bringing it to market because you're not going to be able to get that competition, the marketing competition that you want. Right. But sometimes the convenience factor can overrule those other reasons to have a higher price, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's kind of how it goes with the whole Zillow. That was their motto is we'll make it easy as possible to pay you cash and you move out, but you may not get the best price. But some people would prefer to just be done with it and not have to deal with anything and just get cash in their pocket. So it's to each their own. Yeah. Well, that kind of leads me to our question of the day, David. A listener wrote in and wanted to know how accurate the Zillow's estimates are. Not accurate at all. They're horrible. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, they might be accurate if you're in kind of like a community where everything's built similar, uh-huh. um, and everything's similar size and quality and style, but they're not accurate in terms of predicting the market. 
it's funny because you can look at a home and what its estimate is before it comes on market and it'll be like 2 million. You're like, well, Zillow's marking that really crazy low. And then you bring the home on at 3 million. And then the next day it's Zillow's estimates at three and a half. So it's like, oh, wow. it goes off of what's available. So if you put your home high, your Zillow estimates going to go back up to that amount anyway. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, along with that question, I have my own question. It goes along with Zillow. Are you likely to see things that are fresh on the market on Zillow or have they already hit the MLS first? So it's kind of simultaneous. If it goes to the MLS, it usually goes straight to Zillow. There's some people that choose to not list their properties on Zillow. So some are just on the MLS. What Zillow doesn't get is the coming soons, potentially. It's unique for each specific area. And that's properties that are marketed that aren't available to show yet. But Mm -hmm. you can see that they're going to be coming on the market soon. So you can kind of prepare yourself if you weren't really ready to to buy, you didn't have everything in order. And then you see kind of a coming soon where it's like, that's the perfect home. And then it gets you in the driver's seat to get everything done. And when it does come to market, you're prepared to make a qualified offer. I see. So those kind of coming soons, you really need a realtor for. Yes. The coming soons need a realtor, but most of all those coming soons end up making it to market. So you'll mm-hmm. see it eventually, but by the time you see it online or on Zillow, it may be too late just because you're not prepared. And it's always good to have a realtor to have you prepared. So when it does hit the market, you're not missing out on opportunity because you weren't prepared, even though you could have been prepared if you just had a week or two to kind of get everything in order. Yeah, great advice. Thanks. That really helped me to understand that. So let's turn our attention to my favorite part, the fur babies at home. How's everybody doing? Everyone's doing great. Bailey loved her walk just now. Moose is getting quite large. And yeah, the whole family is doing really well together. Oh, that's so nice. That's really great. I'm looking into having Ollie become a service dog. So we'll see how that goes. I hope that his fearful personality doesn't interfere with it too much. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's going to be just fine. I hope so, because I really can't imagine traveling without him. And I want to get back to Santa Barbara and I want to bring him. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You got to be able to bring your dogs and they definitely make it difficult these days. Mm -hmm, They do. Oh, David, thank you so much for the great advice. If somebody's listening and they would like to talk to you about real estate in Santa Barbara, selling, buying, or just information, how would they get a hold of you? My number is 805-617-9311. And my email is david at davidcharlesallen.com. Thank you so much, David. Can't wait to talk to you again next week and find out if those interest rates are going to stay down. Look forward to it, Patty. Let's give it a go next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.